Danmax Adventures, the main reason to keep on playing Sword and Shield to this day. Housing almost every legendary and ultra beast from the first seven generations of games, they are all able to be shiny hunted and have base odds of 1 in 300. And if you have the shiny charm, an unbelievable 1 in 100 odds. When the Crown Tundra DLC first released, and this became a known fact, I made it my goal to one day get every shiny legendary possible from it. I started back then with Necrozma, which I got in a very fair 24 runs. After that, I did probably around 50 runs for Guzzlord. I lost my exact counter so I'm not too sure, but it's in that ballpark. I did not find one, and I ultimately put this goal on hold for a few years. A few years later, a couple friends of mine got into the Dynamax adventures, and so I returned to them. And I even put in a solid 76 runs towards Lunala, which has still yet to shine for me. Because of this renewed interest, I added a few Dynamax Adventure Shiny Legendaries onto my 2024 Shiny Bingo card. One of which being the magnificent Shiny ho -Oh. Being joined by my friend Dice Bomb, we embarked on a quest to find the beautiful golden bird that has had us enamored since the very first episode of the anime. Now, given that you get 4 encounters a run at 1 in 100 odds each, you are bound to get some you aren't looking for before you get your target, and so I was able to add a few new beauties to my collection. Oh my god! Shiny Halucha. Is it actually? I was like the black water. Yeah. Nice. Oh my god, that's Shiny Drift Bloom. Mine is not a Shiny Drift Bloom. Oh my god, and it's a Shiny Halucha on the same save. Like in the save got like right now, or just the one that had the halucha? Both. Wait, you got another halucha? Yeah, same save as the other one, but it's also on the save with the drift one. Oh, shiny pseudo wudo! I'll never have to cave again if I get it right now. Damn, you, you really. Oh my god, a shiny wiggly top! Actually kind of Yo! Oh my god, I have a shiny Scyther! Also, it wasn't just me finding shinies, as Dice Bomb found a few as well. What the fuck did I. Oh, critical hit. <laughs> I'm gonna say, what the fuck happened there? Dude, I can't wait for the shiny to be fucking day to day and it's just fucking shit brown. Shiny did NA. I got him ship around. <laughs> you got the ship around to NA. <laughs> I actually did, yeah. Uh, I got jack shit. As you would expect, up next is the final shiny of this hunt, ho -Oh itself. Much like how Arceus and Celebi both shined for me right before I was about to end for the night, I was on the very last run through of the night and was graced with this amazing sight. Alrighty. Let's see. Anything good for the last run? I didn't get anything. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Did you get it? I got it! Let's oh my god! Go. Oh my god! Which game got it? Uh Oh, that's that's my that's my sword save file. Let's go. The main, the cannon. Oh my god. <sighs> the cannon, shiny ho -Oh. God, that... Man, I popped off more than I thought I would. I only knew it was the ho -Oh, it's I know, like, you, you've heard... Off and over or a shiny like that. I know, you heard... I, I hope I didn't wake anyone up. Uh, oh. oh god. Alright. So easy. So you'd like to take ho -Oh with you? No. Now it looks weird. It's fucking yellow. God, I can't believe. I, I was genuinely on the point of like, yeah, I'm never getting this fucker. I love that it's gold and silver color too. Like the game is from. Yeah, Pokemon Crystal. Alright. Like the, the color scheme. We're encountering a mammoth swine. Oh, look at it. It's so pretty. All right, Austin. What? You're here. You're going to yeah. be in the video. Okay. 
any nature guesses? That's a thing shiny hunters do. I don't know. Oh. They're like, all right. Obviously, I was going to say bashful, because that's the first one that just came to my mind when he said nature. All right. It's a random nature. I think I'm going to go with, uh, I think I'm going to go with hardy. And I'm guessing pressure is the ability. Damn. Even though it said it in battle. Holy shit, it has pressure. I thought you said bashful. Fuck. I'm like, wait a second. It has rash. Away. It has rash. Rash was going to be my guess. And then you said bashful. And I was like, no, nah, I want something a little different. Motherfucker. Damn. This is opinion based off my. And the amount of times I got a shiny either like right before the final one or the final thing of a recording is insane. I think the only shiny video I have on the channel that won't have ended like that is fucking Shaman. This hunt took me 162 runs, and through Guzzlord, Lunala, and other random runs I've done over the past few years, ultimately ended a 300 plus Dynamax Adventure shiny legendary drought. As usual, I went through the normal feelings of feeling like I'm never going to get the shiny, and while overall the number is pretty small, a run through takes 15 to 20 minutes, and sometimes even longer. My double hunting at least lightens the load, but it's still a massive time investment. Also, as usual, the thrill of finding your target shiny makes it feel worth it. It gets that rush going, and leaves you hungry for more. I'm glad to finally be able to mark this off on the card. Speaking of the card, I've decided that unintended shinies and Dynamax adventures don't count towards the random encounter. As them being mere guarantees when you're on a hunt for a shiny legendary, it takes away the feeling of finding a proper random shiny. Also, want to add a quick scroll of the natures for those who are interested. As per my card, this isn't the only hunt I have to take on in the caves, so hopefully a few more of these will pop up in the future. Before we go, I would like to ask that if you enjoyed the video, to please leave a like and maybe even subscribe. Doing so really truly does help out the channel. Also, I would really love to hear from you in the comments down below, even if it's just about any experiences you've had with the Dynamax Adventures. And if you really really like the content and want to give more support, consider becoming a member. Doing so gives access to emotes, a special badge, and you'll have your name displayed on screen right about now in upcoming videos. I'd like to thank you all for watching. This has been Big Blast 99 and I hope you all have yourselves a goddamn good one.